Welcome back to DCR Rails. Today I'm going to take this board and chop it up and shape it to fit like these uh, temporary styrofoam bridge supports. Uh, last time we had built the framework for the bridge and this time we're going to finish it up and I need the wood to make a much more permanent fixture and more stable than this flimsy styrofoam. So let's get to it. distance between the rails and which ends up being the dimensions of my bridge supports because they're supporting the rails so I want this thing to go right up in between them and to make sure it's square bridge uh, supports are two of these things right there So this is what I'm going to cut from here to here, down and out, here to here, down and out. The old adage, measure twice, cut once, this is it right here, here's my template got my line too far out right here is where I need to cut at so let me redo my line here so right here so measure twice cut once <laughs> And now where it's going to fit, be right here. And then on to the next one, rinse and repeat. Well, these are looking better as I go along. I guess uh, the learning curve is being taken care of because these are looking much better than the first few I did. So, there it is.
I glued the track down and I had the soda can sit on it overnight. And we'll take them off. Now I've got the track atop the bridge. And then the uh, foam, I had this set in place to hold the track while the glue cured. The foam is no longer needed. Once the paint dries, you can't see it from a distance, but as you get closer, you can see the details. And to me, that's the way this thing works, is you have the grand overview, and then as you look closer, there's more and more details that adds to it. So there's the bridge, and it seems to be working, and then I did raise the outer rail so the cars are extended and I'll show you what that looks like so they roll pretty good and they do have a slight tilt to them so that works out I don't have to worry about them derailing as they go around the curve and I also redid the track right here because what I had before I'd pulled the the ties out and then when I pulled the track up to glue this part on and then I put the track back down it bound up and the trains were derailing at the very apex of the curve and so I pulled out new one and did it again but this time I left the ties in place and so they're running real smooth right through that so I don't have to worry about derailments on on the bridge which is a good thing so there it is the bridge is done and uh, keep on keeping on